Hey everybody, it's Cloak Lux and then now welcome back more Wii Play. Last episode I used my lucky Luigi Wii Remote. Today I'm just using my regular white Wii Remote. And we also did the first two games, uh, Shooting Range and uh, Find Me. I thought it was just gonna auto select, but yeah. And in this episode we are going, we are going to, we are going to try the new game Table Tennis or Ping Pong as I prefer to call it. Move the paddle uh, to return the ball. Aim the Wii Remote at the screen to move the paddle. How many times can you rally? Well, you have to, to win the game, you have to rally a hundred times, which I've never done before. Well, what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to move your hand and grab the paddle. Uh, there's guest E over there. Now press A to start. You just gotta make sure you uh, hit the ball. If you miss it, it's game over. You want to do this a hundred times, which I've never actually done before. So I'm going to go heavy concentration mode here. Ah, oh, I got halfway there. I think the music in two-player mode is um, better, for personally. Uh, by the way, what's two-player? If you're wondering what two-player mode is like in this game, it's actually a lot different than the one-player mode. I'll be sure to get to that whenever I have another person to play it with. Let's do that one more time. Not as heavy concentration as 420 and 5 minutes of Freddy, but still heavy. And wow, that's what I get for talking. Alright. Alright, let's, let's just head to the next game. I don't really like that one that much. Stage 4 is now open. Pointing directly at the screen is, the only, is only one of the many uses for the Wii Remote. In the next stage, you'll have to twist the Wii Remote too. Pose me. Twist the Wii Remote to spin the me left and right. Switch poses by pressing A or B. Okay, so now you you are in control of your me. There's not really any games where you can just make your me in like a troll with like a nunchuck or anything. But uh, basically, you can you can switch your pose with A and B. And. Uh, you need to get him in this bubble. And that'll start the game. And basically you just gotta hit all the bubbles and make sure they don't go um, into the water down there. You can see... You also have to uh, twist the Wii remote in the direct... in To uh, make your, sure your Mii is in a position with the, um, with the bubbles. And, uh, this rainbow bubble right here, when you get it- Whoa! That thou freeze all the bubbles on the screen. And that was weird, like, my remote, like, went all weird there for a second. And you can have- and you have, uh, a few seconds to get as many as you can before, uh, before, uh, you miss them. 
So for a perfect bonus, we get plus 5 points, so now we have a total of 40 as opposed to 35. Birds! They really fit with the shopping channel music here. I wonder if the Wii Play OST is online somewhere. I bet it is. I mean, you can pretty much find the soundtrack to any game on YouTube somewhere. Except Uno and the Game Boy, because when I looked up the soundtrack of Uno and the Game Boy, I never found it, which is kind of odd. Okay, uh... <laughs> Yeah, I guess I would try. I would recommend not uh, pausing the game too much because that can sometimes uh, screw up uh, your your Mies position. So uh, oh, that was close. They're actually coming down pretty fast now. Okay. All right. Now this is the way. The one of the this is the point where I actually why I'm not too good at this mini game. It's the fact that now that we do this, they're actually going to start mixing the poses. At least I think. Yeah. And there's uh, ones later where the bubbles will actually twist with you. Okay. Oh, geez, I almost got confused there. Well, why are they going oh, so close to the bottom? What? This isn't fair! Do they, like, appear, like, relative to where you are? <laughs> yeah, there's a duck. Oh, I guess they do! Uh, okay. Now I know that. I guess you should try to stay as close to the top as you can. I don't know, that's what I'm... That's my theory. Now this is the point where they're gonna start twisting with you. Oh, that was close. Ah, I'm about to lose. No! Drop the bubble. Alright, now that I dropped the bubble, that's actually going to remove uh, remove my uh, perfect bonus, because, you know, I didn't get it perfect. But it'll start counting up by fives um, again. No, I, I, oh, right when the rainbow one appeared too. Once you drop three bubbles is when you lose. Now you can see how, why this is starting to like mess with my head. Got a few seconds to relax and get your bearings straight. Oh, it's a bee and a flower. That's terrible. Whoa! Oh, you ever seen that video uh, by the dodo? Uh, that where she was like a bee and a, and this lady actually became friends. 
I want, I want, I want a friend that's a bug. Damn it! No! That could have gone a lot better. I lose. I lose. Oh! Oh, apparently it doesn't reset, doesn't reset your, at your perfect bonus. Alright. <laughs> the pictures of the birds. Okay, uh... Oh, wow. Now this is where it's gonna start messing with your head. Like I'm still in the ah, pose. Let's right, play another game. Stage five is now open. Think you're getting the hang of twisting the Wii remote? Then show off your new skills in a little match of laser hockey. Sure, let's try it. Laser hockey. I have a feeling this is based off of some NES game, but I don't know what it is. All right. So basically, you have to get a higher score than the AI in um, uh, 120 seconds. But not like that. <laughs> I uh, I have a feeling. I don't know if this is the case, but I think if you just um, get a just get a lead um, and just let the timer run out. Uh, not like that. I think you need to have like one point lead like where the ball is on your side so the AI like can't touch it I actually kind of want to see if that's true I think I'll do that here just to test it if I can do it I don't think the AI ever gets harder as it goes on I think it's always the same difficulty no matter what and if I could just get two more points Oh, come on. Ah, I'll admit the controls are a bit, uh, uh, squishy on this game. Yeah. Alright, now I've got, a. Uh, now I got a two-point lead. I'll just let it go in my goal. I'm just gonna see if this really is the case. If I just let, if I just sit here and just and see what happens until the timer runs out. Can't see the timer, but it's there. I guess that does work. Okay. Well, we unlock the next game, but let's do it proper. I don't really think you necessarily have to win or lose. I think you just need to play the game at least once to unlock the next game. And I think it's generous that the AI lets you have the first serve. I feel like this would work as a Mario Party minigame. Well, then you get speed hockey in Mario Party 2. Yeah. 
There you go, would that necessarily count? I haven't played air hockey in actually quite a long time. I think my dad actually had an air hockey table at one point. I just has a lousy foosball table, but... That's okay. There we go. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there you go. There's our post for being high score and oh, never mind. Stage six is now open. This time, move the Wii remote closer to the TV and then farther away for some 3D movement. For the best results, sit so that you're centered with the TV. Well, the camera's centered with the TV, but I'm not necessarily. Um, so I might have some awkward movements here, but. That's okay, you guys won't have to worry about it. So guys, I believe we are going to end the video off here. Next time on WePlay, we're going to try the new game, Billiards. See you guys then.